I'm here with Alvernia's head men's lacrosse coach, Rich Carrington. Coach Carrington, what are your thoughts on the program after your first season with Alvernia? Uh, to sort of to sum it up, I would say resiliency. Um, this team and you know this this group of individuals are probably the uh, the, the most resilient you know people I've ever been around um, and have the privilege of, of coaching. So um, you know no matter what we, we throw at these guys this year, they they find a way to, to overcome and, and found a way to uh, to turn you know negative situations into a positive. So you know definitely intense practices where we stress a lot of competition. Just about every drill we do is is for competition. We film all of our practices, um, we put the scoreboard on as well, just so guys you know know who's winning and who's losing what drills and guys lose drills. And, you know, obviously there's a little bit extra conditioning involved there, but um, our guys really like that and they love the fact that, that we do practice hard um, and, and that they're, you know, they're getting after it, you know, from the, from the second they're out there to the second we leave. We also implemented a, a very structured weightlifting program and strength and conditioning program. That's something new uh, to, to the Alvernia men's across uh, team. So um, a lot of just uh, things that other programs, other couple of programs are already doing, but things that Alvernia had not done in the past. But you know, our guys uh, really enjoyed it. And then when you look at the big picture, you know, defensively we were actually much better as, as a program now. And um, we had our, uh, our our best season in terms of uh, you know goals against average. So you know, I think that says a lot about about you know the, the commitment of our guys and the work of our, of our guys. So you know if we're doing that with ten players. You know, we look forward to what we can do with even more. And it's just an impressive group and and, uh, and a group of unbelievably strong character. And again, I just feel so blessed to have coached them because uh, I I don't know if any if any you know group of guys could, could have done with the, with these guys this season. Which players stepped up this season and emerged as leaders? Well, you know, with a team of, of 10 guys, we had a, a number of guys that were forced to, uh, to step up for us. But you know, on the offensive side of the field, definitely a guy like Brian Ray, who was a transfer for us. Um, and, and as a transfer, he was actually voted to be you know, one of our one of our captains, which is amazing to me because he's walking through a situation where he didn't know a lot of the guys on the team, but you know, he worked hard every day, was a positive force in, in practices and in the weight room day in and day out. And, and the guys said, you know what, he's, he's a leader and this isn't just for show. Um, and, and he was one of the guys that, that they voted to, uh, to represent them as a captain. So um, he did a, a phenomenal job for us this year. He's, he's a, um, I, I think, uh, you know, in between the lines, uh, you know, a, a guy like Andrew Dittman um, did a phenomenal job for us. Here's a guy in, in the fall, and I hope he doesn't mind me saying this, but in the fall, he, he couldn't catch and throw. But, uh, you know, he worked hard all offseason. This, this kid, you know, nobody on our team outworks him, you know, nobody. And, um, again, you know, worked hard in the weight room, worked hard in the wall, and shooting, and, you know, came back to us in spring, and, and this guy was, was probably our most essential guy in terms of, of clearing it. I, I think just, I mean, probably 50% of our clears, you know, he, he touched the ball, um, maybe more. So, uh, again, he just did a phenomenal job. You know, one guy defensively that, that, that we, you know, basically, you know, you know, told the team to get on his shoulders, I would say it's our goalie, Kevin Schuff. And we didn't even know if he'd be able to play this season, you know, due to an illness. But, you know, this kid's just, he's, he's, he's just tough as nails. And he said, there's just no way I'm going to be on the sidelines this season. Um, and, and suited up for us every minute of every game in goal. You know, he came in uh, second in the conference in saves, and uh, in, in my opinion, I, I think he, was, he was probably should have been named an all-conference goalie. Uh, but he's coming back for us next season, and uh, you know, we're you know, the sky's the limit for this kid, and, and, and he just does a phenomenal job, not only on the field but off the field as well. Has a great GPA and, and is a great leader for us. So I think that you know, again, a number of players have stepped up for us, but those guys were certainly um, you, know, you, know, you know went above and beyond the call of duty. What will the 2012 team look like, and what are some of your expectations? Well, I can't tell you. We're we're very excited about the uh, about the 2012 team. Um, you know, when we talk about having you know 10 players on a team, we more than double our, our squad size for next season. So uh, so we will be deeper. Certainly won't be a, a large team. Won't be a 40 man team. You know, not quite yet. But uh, but we're definitely going to have some subs where you know guys are going to be able to come off the field. You know, and which is a change for us. Uh, I think on the offensive side of the field, uh, we've had some guys that can really shoot the ball and, and, and guys that, that, that have the ability to run by their man. On the defensive side of the field, it's it's you know very yeah <laughs> very exciting to think of, of our potential back there. Um, you know, we were, we were already a very strong defensive team, but you know through uh, you know some, some freshmen coming in and also a couple uh, a couple of, uh, uh, transfers from four years uh, the universities. Um, it's going to be a very solid group, and, and I think that we could potentially be, you know, pretty scary defensively. And just looking at the offensive and defensive side of things, you know, we feel very, very excited about the 2012 team. And um, if the newcomers can learn from from our returners, you know, how we like to do things, you know, how we like to be intense in practices, 
um, you know, how we like to, you know, get it done off the field in the classroom with community service and, and, um, and, and, and really learn what it means to be an Albertian lacrosse player, then, you know, we're going to be, you know, you know, pretty successful uh, next year. And we'll have to put the work in, but uh, if, if the guys come in here and do the things that I know that they can do, we're going to be just fine. So, again, uh, you know, look out for Albertian men's lacrosse in 2012. And, and for guys out there that, that want to come and be a part of an intense program and, and, and get after it day in and day out and have fun in the process, you know, Albertian is the place for you.